Well, hey everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this really cool fire hydrant. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video, and if so, hit that like. And now let's go ahead and get this started. Well, Alright, now let's go in and put one right here. And as you see, I have a sidewalk and it's made out of half slabs. This is very important. You have to have half slabs around your fire hydrant for it to look correct. So right here offside my road, I have my sidewalk. So now that's out of the way. Now let's go ahead and knock a hole out right here. Now as you see, there's one block space down here. You're going to knock out this one and put a block of soul sand. And once you've got that, then come up with a temporary block right above this hole. Go ahead and make a pillar. This is going to take up eight armor stands and I know that's really crazy on the armor stands but this looks really cool and nobody else has done a fire hydrant tutorial. So go ahead and knock out these two here and have this one facing the road. Knock out these two here. Have this one also facing the road. Now you need to turn the opposite direction. Place one here and one right here. Alright, now once you've got that, then go ahead and take a leather cap and a leather tunic. You're going to need a cauldron and a bucket of water. Place the water in there. Grab some rose red dye. Place it in there. And now dunk your leather cap and your leather tunic in there. Alright, now what you're going to need to do is go ahead and put the leather cap on all these here. Just like that. And now go ahead and take your temporary block. Now remember, this is the front of the armor stand on these two because they're facing the road. So you're going to go behind it on both of these. Place a temporary block there. And these two up here, you're going to do the same thing behind the armor stand. Alright, now you're going to push this armor stand into this block and you also need to push it to the left so do that and on this one's the opposite so you're going to push it that way and these up here are going to be the same thing so we're going to push it on that side and this one here on that side alright now grab a regular piston and you're going to face this piston into this armor stand power this up and very important that you delete the piston before the redstone block like that. Now you need to push it into this block. So what you're doing is pushing it into the corner there as you see. So go ahead and do that on all of them. Well, Alright now once all of them are in place just like this right in the corner then go ahead and take out all these temporary blocks. Be very careful that you do not hit your armor stands. Alright, now once you've got this, then go ahead and break this one. Now you should have this. Alright, now once you have that, then go ahead and grab your temporary block. Grab your half slab that you're using. Place off the top of it. Do not place right here. Place it off the top. Very important. And once you have that, then go ahead and take your regular piston. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to push this down. And you're going to power it up three times. Very important that you do it three times. So this is one, two, and three. So now go ahead and very carefully delete this one and this one. 
All right, now what you're going to need to do is go ahead and take your temporary block back out. And you're going to do the same thing as what we've done before. Go ahead and make a pillar up. But this time, you're going to have all these facing opposite directions. So the first one is going to be facing the road. Second one facing this way. Third one this way. And the fourth one this way. Now once you have that, then go ahead and place another block beside it because you're going to have to have something to stand on. That way you can crouch and make it have this pose. So go ahead and do that on all of them. And also place the leather cap on all of them and the leather tunic on all of them as well. Alright, now once all of them have the leather on them and they're all the same pose, then go ahead and delete all these temporary blocks. Let all this fall into place. Now you should have this. Alright, you're almost done. Now what you're going to do is go ahead and make it to where nobody can actually fall into this hole or walk through the actual fire hydrant itself. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and get our temporary block back out. Grab a cobblestone wall and a red carpet on top of that cobblestone wall. You're then going to push all this down. Power it once. Temporary block here. Power it twice. Then go ahead and take all this out. Now this is what you should have now. I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please hit that like. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.